40 million, 40 million XRP sold by one person in the last week. And this is not making the XRP community very happy. You may or may not have heard of this person. We're going to dive into who this person is, why he is so relevant to XRP and Ripple Labs, and what the community feels about him dumping 40 million XRP in the last seven days. So before we jump in, go ahead and hit the like button and consider subscribing here on the channel. And let's jump in. So Jed McCaleb. You may or may not have heard of him. No worries. We're going to go over why he's so relevant to the XRP Ripple story. But he sold 40 million XRP in the last seven days. So according to XRP Scan, Jed McCaleb, co-founder of Ripple Labs and its former CTO, has less than 14 million XRP left in his wallet. Now, this is kind of bittersweet for the XRP community because Jed McCaleb has been slowly getting rid of his XRP uh, over time here, and they really just want him out of the project completely so he can't manipulate the price anymore, at least how, at least this is how they feel about the situation. But in the past seven days, Michaela has sold about 40 million of the remaining XRP. Now, at this rate, the crypto community can expect this story to unfold in the next couple of, couple of days and pretty much be done with. So Michaela left Ripple Labs back in 2013, it was then known as OpenCoin because he saw the company developing in a different direction from the other co-founders. He was eventually compensated 9 billion XRP for his services, but he was contractually prohibited from selling his XRP at one time. And the parties outlined a timetable for selling XRP in small increments, hence what's going on right now. At the same time, token fans and holders themselves have no warm feelings towards Michaela because they're blaming him for manipulating the price here over the past uh, year or so. So the uh, XRP is trading in a range of about 30 cents to 34 cents right now. Currently, it's sitting at 31 cents. It's still ranked number seven. Uh, you know, I'm looking at XRP. If we can get a price down below 30 cents, that is just an, a phenomenal entry point. We've yet to hit there in the last month, uh, but, you know, we could be heading south of 30 cents where we you know we got there back on the 18th of june we hit 29 cents uh briefly here so we could be heading back in that direction uh to me that's a great entry point for xrp not financial advice of course but xrp failed to break that next major uh price of the 38 mark so the 34 cent mark is an important resistance level okay xrp has been trying it and, and trying to burst through it but it just has not been able to get there it did briefly here but it was not you know very uh not very long lived okay this was back on the 8th it just quickly came back down underneath 34 cents but if we can break up past this mark and stay there and we're looking at that 38 cent mark uh to get past for that next resistance level but right now McCaleb in the eyes of XRP holders, is pretty much manipulating the price with big sales. How about this? From June 24th to the 27th, McCaleb sold 22 million XRP. He also initiated sales of 14 million XRP at the upper limits of the corridor at 34 cents. That said, one can assume that the XRP community's allegations against the former Ripple Labs official have not arisen from anywhere uh from nowhere so they are uh you know kind of a bittersweet here they're excited to see him slowly getting rid of his tokens but here in the short term they believe he's manipulating the price so what do you think about uh jed mccaleb getting rid of his xrp listen i think this was something that happened a long time ago they did put him on a you know uh vesting schedule essentially uh where he could only sell at certain increments and i mean he put the work in and he was a co-founder and this is what they decided to give him. I'm never a fan of people who say, you know, oh my gosh, you have all these tokens you should never sell. And we're going to, you know, ridicule you, it, ridicule you if you sell. I think that's ridiculous. Um, we're in cryptocurrency to change our lives and to make money. The only way you do that is to sell. And there's a way to do that responsibly over time. Now, some people think that McCaleb's not doing it that way. Uh, but here's the thing. It's a bear market. I mean, would it really matter right now? This is probably a better time uh, for XRP investors to see McCaleb getting rid of his XRP than a bull run that would stunt exponential growth. At least that's my two cents. That's my opinion. But I uh, thought this was an interesting story. Wanted to bring it to your attention. And uh, there you go. Now you know the former CEO, McCaleb, 
uh, and what he is doing right now in getting rid of all of his XRP. So thanks so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. Let me know what you think about all this down below. Thanks.